concept here. He's got that ankle hooked hard. All right, I'm going to push my toe, outside toe, staying on my palms. I'm going to slide all my weight back into him. As I do that, I bring my shoelace to the mat and I got to bring it out of an angle. I slide it. Right into my feet. Hooks my ankle. Now so I'm pressure back into him. I'm going to slide my ankle out. Go right to our knee slide. Pressure, slide it to the mat. As I do that, toes driving. I'm going to slide, catch that wrist. Right away. Some of you guys are getting to this position and then you're kind of jumping your feet. If I go nice and slow there as I slide out, as I drive back, Slow, up our mat here. I still have wrist control. Man. I still have wrist control. I'm still blocking. My head's coming tight. I don't want to rush this. I don't want to let go and just start flying out. One more time. Hooks that ankle. Riding that ankle. I'm going to drive back over it. As I drive, I catch that wrist. I slide. And I'm blocking off. Okay, this is a position that we're, you know, everything we're doing this morning. It's basically wrist control, knee slide, post foot out front so I can pressure back. I'm blocking off. I'm up to my feet. Okay, we've probably done that a thousand times. That's because that's basically the finish to every. If you're gonna get to your feet, you gotta stand up, right? So you gotta know how to do a stand up. This position is more just clearing the ankle to a stand up, do a knee slide to a stand up, change over to a stand up. So everything really ends with a stand up. You just gotta get the first part down. So without a partner, it's going to look like this. He's going to have my ankle. I'm going to push back over it. My foot's going to move. I'm going to slide it forward. As I slide, that back foot comes up. My back straight down, my block. He's running that ankle, drive, push, push, slide, all the way up to my feet. Let's get it, guys. One, two, one.